Hi, my name is Jerry Sweeney and I want to talk to you about Synergy Module. The idea behind Synergy Module is it enables you to reduce the amount of money you pay for electricity by purchasing that electricity at times when electricity is cheap. And a huge advantage to doing this is that electricity is cheap when renewables are available to the grid. Therefore, if you purchase electricity at times when the price is low, you are facilitating the uh, penetration of renewables onto the electrical grid. If you don't purchase electricity at times when energy is expensive, then you are saving the consumption of fossil fuels uh, and the production of carbon. So there are two benefits. One, you save money, and two, you save the planet. This is a, an Echelon Island Smart Server, which is a, a type of PLC, which now has the Synergy Module software pre-programmed into it. And what I want to show you today is how easy it is to configure this device, install it, and get it to run within, say, a domestic or an industrial situation. There are a number of connectors on the device, and we're going to use four for the particular circumstances that we're going to show you today. There is a connection that you can connect to a local area network to give you an internet connection or you can connect a Wi-Fi device to this and enable you to connect to your Wi-Fi uh, network at home. There is a console port which you use to connect to a computer when you're configuring the system initially but you do not need to leave it connected. You will need to supply mains electricity to the device and we will be using two contact outputs there are other input and output capabilities on the device, but we're not going to talk about those today. There are two contact outputs which enable you to control um, uh, contactors to uh, shed and create uh, load as required. It takes a little while to connect up the device and to um, uh, get it to boot up. So what I've done is I have a second one here ready uh, and connected to both the internet and to my computer. So the yellow cable on the left is the connection to the internet. It is still connected up to my console port and I have mains electricity supplied to the unit here on the right hand side. Um, I don't have connections to the contactors at the moment uh, but you're going to have to imagine those I'm afraid. Once you, once you boot up the device with a computer connected to the console port uh, you can see that the system is running. Every 15 minutes the system downloads uh, the current pricing and current weather information and the projected electricity price and weather forecast for the next 48 hours and then uses that data to make decisions on when is the best time to purchase electricity and how much electricity you need to purchase. The only reason that we need the app, there it did a download again, so it must be just at the end of its 15 minute session. The only reason that we need um, the terminal connection at this time is to find out the IP address. If it's being configured using your DHCP server, uh, then you're going to need to know that information. So I just type in show, and I see that the IP address is 10.10.1.25. So I now connect to the same local area network that that Synergy module is connected to. And I put in that IP address into, into uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer browser window, hit return, and I gain connection to the ILON device. First of all, I need to log in. With the documentation you receive with your Synergy module, you will get the username and password required to log in. Currently we have two what are called configuration pages for the ILON Smart Server Synergy module. This enables us to do two types of demand management with the device. In the future these configuration pages will be extended and made more sophisticated and other configuration pages will be developed for different applications. The first configuration page I'm going to show you is a sample configuration page 
that enables you to purchase electricity to heat water at the cheapest time of the day. So you tell the system what your daily requirement is and what the heater kilowatt hours are for the, uh, for, for, sorry, you tell the system what your daily requirement in kilowatt hours is and what the kilowatt capacity of your heater is. Obviously one divided by the other tells the system how many hours of power you need to purchase. You can also program in minimum and maximum temperatures. If the temperature reaches the maximum temperature, then the system will uh, disconnect power. If the system, uh, if, if the water gets to a minimum temperature, then regardless of the price information, it will start to heat the water. In this case, we're connecting the Synergy module to the water heater via output two. Once this page is configured, this energy module is now running that application and will control the purchase of electricity to minimize cost to run that heater. I'm now going to show you a, an industrial application for a synergy module. In this case, we have a standby generator uh, which is synchronized to the grid and is capable of starting and removing us from the electrical grid. When the price of electricity exceeds the price which is programmed into the configuration page, then the diesel generator will start. And when the price again drops below a price which is set as the stop price, then the diesel generator will turn itself off. In this way, you control the maximum price that you pay for electricity that you purchase. And you would set that price in the configuration page based on the cost of purchasing diesel, for example. So that's two examples of how you can use Synergy Module to control the purchase of electricity. It's very simple to configure, uh, very simple to install, reduces your electricity cost immediately you install it, and helps to save the planet by reducing the amount of carbon that's produced in the generation of the electricity you've consumed. Thank you very much.